Well, it's time to talk uh, Donegal 555 slash Donegal 333. Uh, we're joined by one of the race organizers uh, as we go to sunny Dubai to join Better Kinnaman, Sean McFadden. Hey, Sean, good to see you. Hi, Ashin. How's it going there? Good to see you. Good I'm to hear do- from you. I'm doing not too bad in the snow here, Sean. We, we had the shorts <laughs> and the t-shirts on last weekend and we've got, we've got snow now today. So we have, but uh, you have no problem with snow over there by the looks of things. No problem at the minute now. The sun is shining and it's getting hotter day by day. But no, it's it's nice. Like it's it's very bearable at the minute, you know. But I heard Ireland was beautiful last week, and now there's going to be snow this week. So I suppose that's just gold. Good old Irish weather. It's just unpredictable. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, let's focus on on the five five five. It's on the fifth of August. Uh, a change of date for you, Sean. You're going a wee bit later. It was traditionally June, of course, but uh, already. The event is sold out and uh, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of excitement uh, about it. And I suppose the big change is the 333 has now been incorporated and tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so Oshin, me, you know, me, we, we sat down after the 555 last year, myself and Eugene and the team, and we said we'd just change the date and change the whole, the spice it up a bit, you know, and we changed the date and it was actually, you know, we changed it for different reasons and it's kind of worked out really, really well, you know. Um, and we want to, to, and incorporate another uh, discipline into the race and we thought about it for years you know and we didn't do it but then we thought we kind of have to do it with all the racers coming on board and there's like you know I mean all the Joe Barr and the Mayo and there's loads of races coming on and they've got smaller events so we thought we would try and come up with one and um, believe it or not I, I suppose I'm going to have to put it out there a good friend of ours and a good competitor uh, come up with the, the name of this uh, Colin Richardson come up with a 3-3-3 and Actually, when we when we talked about it and when we advertised it, it just went, it just it sold out like literally in nearly three or four days, you know, because we didn't want the three 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 to swallow the five five five, but it just nearly took over, you know. So yeah, so we we kind of capped it that we'd only maybe take twenty to thirty uh, three 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 competitors for the first year to see how it went, because we we, re- we really don't want it to swallow the five five five, but it was a really 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 successful uh, idea. Well, what is the three three three? What's the apart from two hundred and twenty two kilometers of my maths is, is correct? What's the course for the three 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 going to be, Sean? Yeah, well, it's 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 still part of the five 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 course, but they're not doing the first section of uh, downrun and a show, and so they're doing the second half of the five five five. But the three 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 still is very very challenging. People think it's a little bit like it's only three hundred fifty three hundred and thirty three kilometers but there's still nearly over 4,000 metres of climbing on it, you know? So the second half of this race, there's a lot of climbing on it. So it's still going to be very, very challenging for people, you know? Yeah. And uh, is there any difference to the 555 this year? Is it the same rugged, tough course that's always been there, Sean? Or or, because there's always a small sort of alteration whether the as the years go on. Is there going to be any this year? No, we're not going to try and change this. And we've, we've kept it as close as we can for people to set records and for people to target their time from the previous years. And I don't like changing stuff too much. You know, okay, if there's a road works on and we have to change maybe a, a kilometre or two kilometre, we try to stay as close as we can for it, you know, because as I said, people setting targets and people setting times and people want to beat their own time from last year and they want to, you know, so we're going to try, we, we are keeping the 555 exactly as, as, as it was as before, you know. Well, Lorraine Malarkey came and, and destroyed the solo women's record last year. She done it in, in 21 hours. And and you were talking her up before her arrival last year, Sean. Is there anybody to talk up this year? Anybody to, to watch out for? Well, Lorraine, Lorraine is sitting on the fence. She's, she's actually thinking about coming to do the 333 and try and set a, a blistening time in the 333. She hasn't signed up yet because, you know, with the change of date and, with Lorraine here in Dubai, it's like she has to get time off school and different things like that. But there is a few that are sitting on the fence that are still challenging themselves for other races. So a couple of competitors like, you know, that have done the 333, women have done it before. So we've, we've kept a couple of slots for them. But so it's, it's, it's kind of exciting times. And we're hoping that the racing that they're doing at the minute is going to go really, really well. And it's going to set them up then for the, the 555 or the 333, you know. Yeah, okay, so we'll wait to see what happens then in the next couple yeah. of months to see if there, there is any big names uh, on the way. So what happens between now and race day, Sean? Because we're here now coming, but we're about to start April. Uh, so we are, and there's still several months to go before we head August time. So what's happening between now and then? 
well, from now and then, like it just like we're very lucky, Eugene and Rashi, that we've sold out this year. Like we've sold out, uh, we've never sold out before. We've always had this uh, uh, number in our head that we wanted to get over a hundred competitors on the road, and at the minute we're well over a hundred. And even we do get a few dropouts. Where I think you know, really, our our goal at the start of the five 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 when we started out, we'd only maybe like thirty competitors, and it was always a magic number to get over the hundred. And now we are. So we're hoping, like, uh, with a few dropouts, we will still have over 100. So it just gives me and Eugene and uh, Damien McGuhan this year that's come on board to give us a hand with the, all the, just the emails part of it and everything else. Damien's come on board, so it gives us more time now to get everything set up in place where before we were holding on to maybe three weeks out and then trying to get everything in place. But now we've got a wee but a bigger window to go by. So it's going to give us more time to get things organised, you know, and just get the venue ready. And, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing everybody in the ramp on the, on the 5th of August, you know, and, and let's see if we can get some new new records on the 555 or let's let's see what they can do with the 333. You know, the 333 is going to be fast and it's going to be a very exciting uh, race between, like, two-man teams and and uh, solo competitors, you know. So, um, like... Do they, start, the a wee bit, do they start a wee bit later, Sean, than the... The five because the five 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 boys are way they're way early on the Friday morning, so they are. As the three yeah, three three goes a wee bit later in the day, or are they going off at the same time? No, no, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the five 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 uh, solo men out the road, and then we're going to. We haven't actually decided what way we're going to do it yet. Or uh, rushing, so we're still working on that. But the the five 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 men will solo people will go first, and then we will. Uh, we will let the three 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 men and women away then. You know, and it's a cycling Ireland backed event as well, Sean. Cycling Ireland back to event this year, and as everybody knows, we couldn't uh, go without Cycling Ireland because uh, just with the whole issue of insurance and stuff like that. So we're delighted that Cycling Ireland come on board. I think now this is their third year with us, so we couldn't do this event without them. You know, so it's it's it's, it's incredible to have them on board, and all our sponsors has come on back on board this year to make this event uh, possible again. So, you know, it's it's a packed field. Like we've got uh, this year, we've got forty. Uh, solo competitors in the 555 five. we've got 25 solos uh, in the 333 three. and we've got uh, 12 teams in the 333 three. and we've got five unsupported solos in the 555 five, including one woman this year that's going unsupported so that's going to be a challenge for, for that young lady that's going to take it on unsupported you know so and uh, we bit down this year Eugene or Ash and the, and the four-man teams on the 555 because I think with including the 333 they've, they've thought about okay if they've gone on a four-man team before they're going to take on the 333 so we've only 10 four-man teams this year but listen we'll see how it goes you know it's it's a packed house it's a packed field and we're, we're excited you know we're just we just we can't we can't wait again you know it's like every year when the last person crosses the ramp you, you think oh that's it we've got a year to um uh, get it ready again but all of a sudden it's around the corner and like you're only a couple of months out you know and the preparation has started and we're, we're, we're looking forward yeah listen we all look forward to it. it's a very very good event the seventh edition of the 555 slash 333 is uh, yep. now on the way in the month of August you enjoy the sun Sean let Eugene and Damien do all the work <laughs> at home for you and uh, you, you'll, Thanks, you'll, probably, you'll probably turn up a day or two before it Hey, don't rub it in, please. Uh, they give me uh, enough hard time as it is. Uh, okay, listen, good to see you, Sean. Thanks for joining us. Awesome, thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.